Today, I'm taking some of the top selling cereals in America and putting them into a tier list. Now remember, I'm objectively correct about everything, so there's no point in arguing in the comments. Enjoy. Now to start this list off, we have Cheerios. Plain Cheerios are like the default boring cereal. So I'm going to be putting them at C tier because they're not good and they're not bad. And next up, we have Honey Nut Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios have to be the pinnacle of Cheerio taste. It might not be the healthiest, but it's still a really good cereal. I'm going to be putting it at A tier. Next up, we got Pops, Corn Pops. I haven't had this cereal in a really long time, but I remember I loved it when I was like seven or eight. For some reason, I used to never like to eat cereal with milk. I was a psychopath when I was little. But so I would just like pour myself a bowl of the Corn Pops and then just start like grabbing handfuls, shoving them in my mouth. I'm gonna put these at B tier because I'd still rather have them than Cheerios. They're not bad, but they're probably not the best. Continuing with Kellogg's cereals, we got Fruit Loops. Now, I usually don't have Fruit Loops at my house because my mom considers it a sugar cereal, but whenever I do have it, it slaps. I gotta know what Toucan Sam is putting in those Fruit Loops. I'm going to put Fruit Loops at A tier. Next up, we got Wheaties. I have never had a bowl of Wheaties in my life, and I don't think I want to. No. This cereal has been... I've had this cereal in my cabinet for a while. It's very stale, and no milk doesn't help. But being my first experience with Wheaties... But for my first experience with Wheaties, it's a D-tier cereal. Moving on to a cereal that's actually good, we got Frosted Mini Wheats. Look at that. It's not focusing. Okay, whatever. This is 90% frosting and 10% actual cereal. This cereal absolutely slaps. I could eat it out the box any day of the week at any time. I'm putting Frosted Mini Wheats at A tier. Next, I'm going to quickly speed run through a couple cereals. I've never had Special K. Special K with chocolate is all right. I'm going to put it at B. Apple Jacks are good. I'm putting them at A tier. But there is one cinnamon cereal that is way better than Apple Jacks. Honey Bunches Votes goes in B tier because I can't put it above Honey Nut Cheerios, but it's still a solid cereal. I'm also going to be putting Frosted Flakes at B tier. Actually, no, I'm putting them at A tier. They're a good cereal. They have a lot of sugar, but that's kind of what makes it taste good. Now, I do have a little confession to make. A lot of these cereals I haven't had or just don't remember having. I don't know if I've ever had Cocoa Puffs, Chocolate Cheerios, Frosted Cheerios, Apple Cinnamon Cheerios, and I'm very sorry to say that I don't have any recollection of ever having any of the Captain Crunch saga. I haven't had tricks. I haven't had cornflakes. I haven't had honeycomb golden graham. I haven't had kicks, O's, grain berry, or cocoa crispies. I'm going to create a new separate tier that's called never had, never had, but I really want to eat. And this tier includes a bunch of cereals that I've never had the good fortune to eat, which includes Count Chocula, Cookie Crisp, Crave, that looks amazing, Cocoa Pebbles, and Fruity Pebbles. I really want to try those out at some point. They look amazing. But I've also never had Frosted Crispies or Quisp. I really want to try Oreo O's and Eggo Cereal. And I really want to try Reese's Puffs. The commercials are peak, but I've sadly never had it. All right, let's get the second most boring cereal on this list out the way. Rice Krispies aren't an interesting cereal. The only two exciting things about Rice Krispies is that they make fun noises in your mouth and you get to make Rice Krispie treats out of them. I feel like many people would agree with Rice Krispies going in C tier along with Cheerios. Next up, we have Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran isn't the best cereal ever, but when you eat it, you feel healthy and it's also bearable. It's not awful. You can shovel it down if you really want to. So I'm giving it a very solid B. But I did just realize that I put it at the same level as Honey Bunch's votes. I might have to move Honey Bunch's votes up to A tier. After very careful consideration, there's been a major change in this tier list. 
I'm moving Apple Jacks to S tier. Next up, we have... Now, many people might say that oatmeal squares are pretty bad. And I do agree that they are not the best cereal. But I used to have these in the house all the time. And honestly, they're a pretty good cereal. I'm going to give them a very respectful B tier. They're not at the same level as all these A tier cereals. But they are a good cereal. Next up, we have Lucky Charms. I haven't had Lucky Charms too many times. But the times that I have had it, it's a good cereal. The main selling point for the cereal is the fact that it has marshmallows in it. Which is completely fine. Lucky Charms without the marshmallows would be like a C tier. But the cereal itself isn't too bad, and the marshmallows just make it a lot better. Lucky Charms are going straight to A tier. Now, I've decided to save the best cereal for last, and if you've been paying attention, you know what it is. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, sadly, I don't have any milk in the house, but this cereal is still amazing dry. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is going straight into S tier, along with French Toast... <coughs> Along with French Toast Crunch. I've only ever had French Toast Crunch once in my lifetime, and they were good, but not as good as the original. So yeah, this is the completed tier list. While editing this video, I managed to get my sneaky little hands on a box of Fruity Pebbles. And it is a pretty good cereal, I'm going to be moving it up to A tier. I'm also going to be moving Corn Pops to A tier, because I also had them again recently, and they were better than I remembered them being. I also remembered that I have had tricks before, and they were a solid B tier here. I didn't really like them. By the way, I'm going to be doing a Q&A, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Bye.